Hey guys, so last time we talked about the drawing bubble part of our still life. How we use perspective to draw the ovals to make our cylinder look correct. Because bottles are basically just cylinders, right? Today we're going to talk, well next we're going to talk about the fruit. So, I've got a few fruits you might have at your table. Orange, a lemon or a lime, a green apple, or a red apple. These fruits are not real, they're a freak. So please don't try to eat them. But let's talk about how we'll draw them and you guys can practice real quick. And then we'll move on to shading. So let's look at this orange. Uh, don't go away, orange. Come back. Come back. So it matters which direction you're looking at it from. But oranges aren't perfectly spherical. It's got a little bit of a divot on it. The stem. And... Kind of... Kind of an oval. So I'm going to make it so I can see the stem. Because I think that part's kind of interesting. Get to drawing. So, to draw our fruit, we just copy the shape that we see. So, if you need to trace it in your brain or with your finger a few times, you've got okay, it's kind of a oval like this. So, again, using my super sketchy lines, I'm going to draw it. And then the cool thing about using sketchy lines is you can come back in and make the lines that you actually need darker. And then using your amazing eraser, you can go and erase that extra stuff that you don't need. So there's my, uh, my orange shape. Yeah, I know it's kind of hard to make them perfect, so you're definitely not going to get counted on for that. I just want you guys to do your best. So now I'm going to add my little stem. And it kind of has some little a divot coming off. And there we go! An orange! Now oranges have texture, so you can add some little wiggly lines or some dots to show that texture that's all over the orange. Yeah, an orange. Okay, let's move on. Lemons are pretty similar to oranges, citrus fruit and all that, so we'll look at that guy next. <clears throat> so, lemons, just like oranges, are an oval shape, but they've got this weird little nub on one side. Lemon nub, and the other side has the stem, so let's just sketch out that shape. So, an oval, kind of like an egg, really. An oval. And then on the side's got a nub. And then just go back. There we go. And I've got a little stem over here. And lemons also have that texture, so we can add those dots if we want. If you notice, I'm only putting the dots on the bottom because the bottom is the darkest part, so I can see them easiest. Put them all over. But we're going to go back with some shading and make the bottom stand out in just a minute. But here we go. A lemon. Okay, let's move on to our apples. There are two kinds of apples. My green one, my red one. And they are a little bit different shape. Green ones kind of are shorter, dumpier. And red ones are a little bit taller and you know, skinnier. So let's draw apples. Apples are pretty simple. They're curved on top. Sometimes they're a little bit bumpy though, so just make sure you draw whatever kind of bumps they have. And then in the bottom, they've got definite lumps where they stand. The red one's got more little lumpy feet kind of look to it than the green one. The green one's a little bit rounder on the bottom. So just check out your one and get the basic shape. So there's my red apple. But we can see the stem coming out there. 
So we need a curve to show where the stem's going to come out, and then we need the stem pop out there. There's my apple, and the red apple's got some cool stripes going on. You can add. All right, now my green apple. More, really more of a circle. Almost a perfect circle. Just like a fat little circle. There's my green apple, and of course he needs a stem. So it's a little curve, and the stem pokes out. My green apple has a smaller stem. Oop. So there we go, there's drawing our fruit. We're going to work on shading our bottles and our fruit uh, in the next video. Okay, see you guys.